Hey, uh, what's up? Uh, so, last video, well, last development video, I teach, I taught you how to make this custom, uh, coin that, uh, respawns and gives you coins. Um, this video, I will teach you how to make, like, a custom admin door that only players that you wrote their username in could go through it. So, I think it's a pretty cool script. It, it works really well. And we'll do it so if another player tries to walk into the door and they're not on the list, they will die. <laughs> so, let's uh, start off, make a part. Let's name this admin, uh, admin door. And let's add a script into it. Now, before I do the script, let me anchor this, remove hello world, and um, we could uh, start now. So let me just move my recording software over here so I can see when I'm recording. Okay, here. So we could uh, start off with admin equals. And we could have uh, these things over here. I don't know what they're called. They're like the brackets. But now here you can start adding names. So for example, access Q is my username. So I'll type that in. But if we want to add another username, we want one of those. A space and another name or uh, uh, name. Yeah, just name. And then we could add as many as we want. We could go up to a lot of names, but we're only gonna do me for now and a person that his name is called name. Next, we're gonna add a function poop <laughs> PT. Then um, we could do if PT dot um, par, 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 why is my caps not working? Parent, if PT dot parent finds first uh, ch child, then we could uh, get the, uh, humanoid, humanoid, then we could do if game dot players dot, uh, find first child, hold on, uh, then we could do a pt dot parent dot name, name, and then we could do a then, we could do can piss. Sorry about that alarm in the background. Someone, uh, someone's alarm just went off. So sorry about that. But we could do campus equals false. Or well, can pass camp campus. Um, for i equals one. Uh, then we could do that. Hashtag admin do if admin i equals equals that's not equals equals oh my god i'm in some my notifications uh if uh, where am i if admin i um equals equals pt dot parent dot name then hold on i don't remember what i meant to type here i'm just gonna check my notes quickly all right then um can pass equals true um, let me just check my notes quickly, and there should be two. <laughs> That's a lot of ends. Uh, so I think I want to leave two of these ends over here. I'm just gonna re remove all these ends. I'll just type them back in after. But, uh, I'll just add an end over here and over here. Because why not? So, end to end. Next, we could do if... I'll add another one. Um, so, end to end. If can pass equals equals false, then uh, pt dot parent dot humanoid um, dot health equals zero. So this is gonna be this is gonna kill him. Uh, this is going to kill a player if they're not on the list. If you don't want them to die, you could uh um you could uh change this false to true and uh then it should work then it should be fixed if that doesn't work uh then you could just change the health to 100 so they just get 100 health if they pass i guess uh okay so let me get a new line um pt now we could just add uh else if i could type 
uh, else. Now we could have a uh, script dot parent dot can collide equals no sorry not child added can collide equals false. So this is gonna make it so if you're on the admin list, the door will become can collide false, so you could walk through it. Then we will have uh, script dot parent. We could uh, dot. Well, I guess we don't have to change the material. If we, you want to change the material to something, if it opens, you could do material. Sorry, material equals uh, like plastic. So whenever they go through the door, it will go plastic. But I don't really care about changing the material. I mean, I guess I will. Uh, let's do neon. Uh, then we could do script dot parent dot transparency equals. Let's do zero point five. So it's like halfway invisible or zero point seven actually. Uh, then we could have a wait. This is how long the door should stay open. How long the door stays open. Stays open. If I could even type. Okay. Um, let's keep it up in for 3.2. I feel like. Alright. Now we just want to add script.parent. Um, script.parent. Can collide. Not that can collide equals uh true so now we're just changing everything back to the normal script uh so we could have script dot parent <coughs> dot uh, material equals let's say we could change it from plastic to all right so the default color could be let's do wood default color would be wood and then once you step on the door it will go to neon and then once it closes again it will go back to wood um, you can change these to whatever you want, but I'm just having them as that. Um, next, I'll add uh, script.parent.transparency equals zero, so it's invisible again. Um, I mean, so it's 100% visible again. Now, we just want to add some ends, so every single time there's an if, you want there to be an end. So, I'll try to explain that, but... I don't know if I can do that exactly, so I'm just gonna add some ends. We need four ends. Yeah, four ends. So I'm just gonna add them. You could just type uh like end four times. You could just type like end and end and end. But I'm just gonna make them go wherever they're meant to go, just because it looks a bit better. <laughs> so that should go there. There's another one that should go over here. I'm just gonna type for them, you know, whatever. <laughs> end, end, end. I could add a space over here. Just, you know, make it look a bit better. But I don't have to do this. So I'm just gonna boom and boom. So that should be, oh wait, sorry. I need to add the touch thing. So we could have a script dot, dot parent dot touched uh, connect poop. So that should be the script all done now. Um. I guess we could test it out. So access Q is my name over here. I'm going to make two of these doors. So admin door false, uh, false. So this one, I shouldn't be able to pass. So let me just remove my name. So this one, I shouldn't be able to pass. I'm just going to change this button to, to red. So this one, I can't pass this one. I should be able to pass. These are both anchored. So we could just play here, test the script out. All right, here we go. Uh, by the way, I hate this new player list that Roblox added. It's so big and, like, ugly. Um, like, if they add it in the corner, like the other one, then it, I would like it. But it's just in the middle of the screen. So this one, yep, it kills me. That's really good. That one looked like it opened. So, yeah, now it's back to wood. So the red one, as you can see, killed me because I had, um, my name wasn't on the list. And then this wooden one over here. Boom, I could go through it, it becomes a bit invisible, and it closes after 3.2 seconds, I think I made it. So boom. Uh, and then, even this script should work, so if there's someone behind you while it's open, they shouldn't be able to go through it. So this is, it only becomes uh, invisible for you. I don't, it's glitching out there, I don't know what's wrong with that. Uh, but that all works now. Uh, this one kills me, well, I'm not going to run into it, but the coin still works. Yep, there we go. Just got five coins. So that's pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me just show you the script again. Here's the entire script. I will 
leave a link to this in the description, but I think it would, I, I would write, I think you guys should, um, actually write the script. It just makes Roblox developing a lot more fun, because, like, why would you want to just take someone's work and just use it? Like, you might as well write it yourself. But, yeah, there's a free model in the description. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, I guess, and see ya.